Hello folks, Scott Grove here. I'm not trying to sell you anything at all today. That's right, just coming to my YouTube people just to give away some free lessons. I've uh, neglected that for a while and you all should kick my butt for doing so. Today we are going to do um, some walking uh, bass lines along with our rhythm tracks. Okay, so I'm going to cover a whole bunch of this stuff because uh, uh, lovely YouTube has lifted the ban on the 10 minute and 15 minute videos. And I'm going to give you pretty much a full video so you can understand out how to do all this stuff. And by all this stuff, I mean things like, just like I said, walking um, bass lines throughout your rhythms, which will sound like this. Okay, so you have those, you have... Okay, so that type of thing. So we'll just get started, have a ball, and teach you how to do this. Take the mystery out of it for anybody who does not know how to do this. Um, that's why it's here. It's free. Uh, land of the free, home of the uh, completely depleted, and uh, God bless the United States of China. Okay, so here we go. I'll put this down here where we can actually uh, get some lessons going. And the first one I want to start off with will be just a GCD pattern. So, number one, let's make your G chords the right way, kitties. Let's go to G, and yes, you have your pinky on your third fret on your high E, and your ring finger on the third fret on your B string. Rest of it, typical G. Okay, you do not want to leave that B string open. Why? Because it sounds like garbage. Okay, um, it's just not the way to do it. Hey, just discovered via my good friend, um, Star Picks. If you guys haven't checked them out, uh, best thing going on the market. Um, they just simply uh, took good old picks and uh, put a stamp through there, just punched out the hole, and now you cannot drop your pick. Uh, first time for everything. Okay, so there's a plug for star picks. They don't pay me nothing. Um, buddy told me to try it, and they work great. Okay, so here's a G chord. What we're going to do here is actually do this. Okay, this works out great too if you're a finger picker. However you want to do it. Okay, so this can be on your way to Chad Atkins stuff, or it can be on your way to just good old rock and roll stuff. However you want to play it, I'm just here to teach you the lessons. Okay, here we go. So in your G, we're going to hit the low E string while the whole chord remains here. Um, we will be moving both these fingers but not your pinky or your ring finger. They will stay there the entire time trying to keep some part of the chord happening. Okay, so we're going to go to the low E string. Then you can strum up. So down on your low E string, which is fretted at the third fret. Upstroke anything you want. We'll make it up as we go because um, this is wide open. This is a technique, not just uh, showing you how to do stroke patterns. Then your B string or your B note here on your A string. Okay, so we went from the E string to the A string without switching anything. So it's just the G chord. Then upstroke, A string. Now D string. Up. So we still have not got rid of this. It stays there. Now we have to go. Okay, which is taking everything off, putting down your first finger, second fret on your D string. Then your middle finger, third fret, might as well keep your first finger the second fret, but put your middle finger, third fret on the D string. Up stroke again, back to the second fret. Open. Now here is what is called a hammer on. Okay, so you're going to do the open A string, hammer your finger on to the second fret. This is your first finger hammering on. Hammer on means just slam it on or hammer it on there. Pretend your finger's a hammer. So you're only receiving one pick stroke. Then open D string. Then back to beginning. Okay, so from the beginning. Okay, so that is it for a G, okay, and you 
experiment with this any way you want to as far as that's nothing more than me getting funky with my bad self me and a Jimmy H here yeah okay so um, that's it for the G okay you can mess with this play parts of it play half of it um, Okay, so don't just do what I'm showing them. I'm just giving you building blocks. Go build your own house, all right? So I'll show you a little trick. So just play half of it. And it don't have to be all open, you know, put some stank on it like I did before. That's the next chord. Let's go to it. Uh, C chord. Okay, same thing. We're going to do... Okay, you already know your C chord. Bang, bang, bang. There it is. If you don't know it, go to somebody else. Learn how to play it. Okay? <laughs> you know how to do these chords. I'm just showing you that stuff. Um, same thing. So, going to do exactly the same thing. So, you're hitting your A string with your C chord here. You're not moving your first finger ever. Okay? So for the first part, we're going to keep everything right where it's at. So A string, up, D string, G string. Now we get to do the same thing we did before. On the G string, now put your middle finger on the second fret. So hit it and then up. Then of course, yep, your ring finger jumping in on the third fret. Back to the second fret. Open G string. Then the hammer on from the D string to the 2nd fret then your G string it's always cool to come back up on that G string it just gives you a nice even flow Let's see so if you need it hey, there it is okay Get you some more light over here okay so that's it then you're right back to where it was so C Okay, so let's play in it like a total white guy. Okay, so you want to put some stank on there. Okay, so don't be afraid to go outside the box again. Um, you heard me do one little lick in here where I only played one string without all the other garbage. Experiment! Just like, you know, the girls do in college. Hey, we've all seen the movies. Okay, so I'm just getting funky with my bad stuff down here. So once again, these are building blocks. Again, build me another house, okay? <laughs> okay, if you need to go backward, hey, hit rewind. You can do it right there on the taskbar. The you know, lets you know where you're at. Okay, so we have G and C. So we have G. And C. Back G. What do we need? D. Okay, so then you can figure out all the hammer-ons again. The one we did in C. Then the one we did in G. Then back to the G chord. Not that tough. Okay, here in D, since we're going to cover three chords at a time, I'll go through every single chord pattern there is, okay? So don't worry about it. We're not limited to time. Okay, in D, Make your D chord, regular D chord. And we'll be doing the open D string. Up. Pinky fretted at the 4th fret on the D string. Now the G string. Now your pinky. 4th fret on the G string. So you have open D. 4th fret D with your pinky. Now play what's on your G string. It's already fretted there at the 2nd fret. Now, so... 4th fret with your pinky. Now here's where it gets funky, kitties. You can either do this or fail. <laughs> okay, and this is actually taking the pinky all the way up to the 5th fret. Yeah, your body can do it. Everybody's body can do it. 
Uh, the cool thing about this is you can, while it goes up there, if all your other fingers move up with it, who cares? Because you can just come up and hit that high E string and do whatever, but make sure that pinky reaches up there. If you don't can't make it yet, just play a half. Until you can go. See, watch here, I'll take the whole dang thing off. Okay, so whatever it takes to get that pinky up there. If you can't reach it, take everything off. And just play the two middle strings. Okay. Okay. Okay, I'll show you the little hammer on part too. Um, again, I'll come back to you and show you some variation. I'm gonna put the stank on there again. Stanky leg. <laughs> uh, don't mind me, I'm nuts. Okay. And then back. So from the fi fifth fret, fourth fret, back to the G string. Now our, you're gonna sneak up with your middle finger to the third fret on the D string. And then grab your ring finger to do the hammer on. And then you're going to, your third note after the hammer on is going to be the second fret on the G string. And then you're going to put your fingers back to make the good old D chord so you remember where the heck you're at. So. You can do that same little thing if you want to put some flavor in there. Where we're doing the hammer ons you can do that with your pinky. You can do the whole thing with your pinky with that thing. It just depends on how cool you want to look and how strong your pinky is. See, check it out. Here it is with the pinky doing all the work. Okay, so instead of coming up with those fingers, you could do it with your pinky. Um, so that is that. Um, again, stank it up. Okay, so I'm just using bits and pieces. Don't go exactly with what I give you. Take it and run, kids. You know, just like you just shoplifted something. Grab it and just run like the flipping wind, okay? Bad boys, bad boys, what you gonna do? Don't let them catch up with you, you know, when you're jumping that chain link fence. You're younger than them. Outrun them, man. Grab some this cool stuff. So, again, here's the white boy version. That's fine and dandy, but you wanna... Show that to me. Like, yeah, I did. That's just the hammer on it, hammer on it again. Just do it a whole bunch of times. Okay, so uh, don't take these at face value. Again, I'm just throwing out uh, the uh, basics of it, and you get to go put all the stinky leg on there, okay? So there you go. G, C, and D for a recap. A quick one with. Uh, pure white boy flavor. G. Now C. Back to G. D. C. G. Okay, so you can major bluegrass this thing if you wanted to. It. Okay, so just. Okay, so however you want to go, you can go blues, you can go major homeboy, you can go white boy, you know, whatever. I don't care what color you are. Well, I got all these people inside of me and they're all living in my brain and they're always constantly fighting in there, but hey, that's what makes me me. Okay, so um, you can call me Sybil. If you don't know it, look it up. Great old movie about somebody that had about 30 people living in their head. 
Okay, so it can it can get freaky in there sometimes, but hey, that's half the fun of being me. <laughs> it's like Gene Simmons on Family Jewels. Okay, um, let's do this. Let's go to the E and the A and the B. These are treble, okay? And that uh, starts with the T, that rhymes with P, and that stands for pool. You guys never seen the uh, musical. Yeah, I dig musicals too. Okay, so in E, this thing is a bear if you want to do it with regular chords. It can be done if your pinky is stretched from here to Mississippi. If you're in Mississippi, you're all right. You got the long finger. Okay. Okay, so it's a major bear to do it if you're doing it with the chords. But if you can and you got that big old long finger on your pinky, here's how you do it. Same thing, E chord. Uh, Google it, you'll find it. There's, there's how you play. Okay, so low E string. Uh, okay, all the way to the fourth fret with your pinky if you can manage it. If not, don't worry about it. I'll show you another way. A string. It's already fretted. A string. Pinky fourth fret. Now we gotta try to move that sucker up to the fifth fret. Is that impossible? Yep. That's why you only kind of just plug, get rid of everything and then grab your other two strings, your E string and your B string, and bring those up. So you got. Then you got the same stuff we've already been doing. Your little walk thing will, or your hammer on thing will be middle finger, third fret, E string. Going up to the fourth fret with your ring finger. And saved by the bell here at the second fret of your A string. So that would be your E little triplet thing, but with the hammer on. Okay, and you can do the pinky thing too. Okay, there's your little uh, triplet thing, hammer on, but you can do the pinky. Instead of going. Okay, so just another idea. And again, now I told you, see, it's getting easier, so I'm going faster to show you uh, as much as I can in this amount of time. Same thing, but just barring a thing. Just use your first finger, cover the B, B note and the E note. So here on your A and your D string, second fret is all we're worried about, nothing else. I ain't worried about any other strings. You ain't going to play them. Okay, so this is the. Uh, Blues way to do this. Okay, that's what a lot of you are after, so here it is. Okay, that's playing your E string, your A string, and your D string, two of which are covered up just like that. That's a bar. No matter if, as long as you're barring more than one string, it is a bar chord. It don't have to be this to be a bar chord. You're barring your finger across two strings. If you're making an F, you're making a bar chord. Why? Because you have your finger barred across two different strings. Okay, so don't let anybody tell you different. And here we go. So second fret across the A and across the D string. And E string. Now you're playing all of them. Play them all. Put some slop on this thing. Now we want all the stank up here on this low E string. Nothing needs to be droning. That means over and over again, just like your, you know, baby sister or brother. I'm not touching you, I'm not touching you, I'm not touching you, I'm not touching you, I'm not touching you. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? I'm not touching you. And that is called droning. Drives you up a flipping wall. Okay, so do that with your low E string. We just want it everywhere. So you hear that? that? We want that everywhere. Okay, so that is what I showed you. Those there. And then back up. Now our hammer on that we did, three and four, with the middle finger, ring finger, at the third and fourth fret on the low E string. Now we're trying to concentrate on the two that are barred. So you take your pick and put it there. Put the emphasis on there, because you're still going to be droning that low E string. Okay, so that is, again, open E with these barred, then up, hammer on, 
three to four. Now your two strings that are barred down and up. Include when you come back up, make sure that low E string's in there. Now we're going to you can take everything else off now, it don't matter. Um, fourth fret on your A string, middle finger, then bring it up to the fifth fret, back down, so down up, fourth, down up, then back to your bar. So down up again, then our hammer on. Okay, so boom, then pick up, then we're done. Again, this is not the rule, this is just your building blocks. Build me a third house. Pretty soon I'm going to have a hotel on boardwalk. You guys keep working like this. So here we go. exactly what I showed you. No, it is. Yes, it is. Same stuff, just, uh, again, uh, I don't know why I got the stanky leg today, but put some stank on it. Get your, get your inner black guy out. If you're a black guy out there doing this, you should be having this anyway. Otherwise, we gotta hook you up. Come see me. I'll get, I'll find your soul for you, okay? So, um, everybody could do this. You just gotta act like you're dancing on your guitar. Don't do that. You might break it. Um, if you got a cheap guitar, dance on it and go get a real one. Okay, so same thing in A. No difference whatsoever other than you are putting your thumb over the top. Thumb over the top. Thumb over the top. That's why you have a thumb. If you don't have a thumb, hey, sorry about your problems, but hey, we'll get by it the way we can. Then you just learn to pick better down here. This here is called covering up for some slop if you got a thumb. And that's putting the thumb on top of your E string. Just sort of make that noise. Don't push down. We don't want that. Otherwise, I'm coming over there personally and chopping your thumb off for you. Alright, so put it up there because we're going to be doing some slop. Okay, just like in pool. We need slop. And we're doing it on the second fret, so it'd be sloppy seconds. Okay, so here we go. <laughs> yeah, you can whip my ass later in the uh, threads when we talk about this. Um, same thing. So you want to be sloppy, you want to be groovy, whatever, however you want to do it. If you want to be sloppy, yep, put that finger over there, shut that low E string up. So you can go ahead and bang all the strings down here, including the low E, but. You're not hearing it, are you? If I was pushing down on it, you'd be hearing it. So quit. Okay? So same exact same thing. I don't need to teach you anything different. Just do it the same. Dropping a whole thing down one whole string. So now you got the A string, and then you're fretted on the D and G string. Second fret. Everything else is just like the other one. So second verse. Same as the first thing. We just do the same thing. Okay, so it's no difference. I don't need to waste the time, so it's exactly like the other one. Everything applies, just take it down there. Okay, so for them, some of you that aren't advanced enough to grab it quick, there it is, slow. Okay, let's put it on the short bus to school. Saw some vibrato and I slowed this puppet down here to Forrest Gump speed. Check this out. Okay, so you let the meth kick in, you know, just let release some of that pent up energy. Okay, so there you are in E and A. A. Okay, here's where it sucks. B sucks. No matter what happens, it be sucking. Okay, so B, um, I would suggest that you do one of two things. Either just go to a straight B bar chord, which is going to be first fret. No, first finger. Second fret. There we go. Uh, first finger, second fret on the A string. And then we're going to put your middle finger. No, that's your ring finger. Put your middle finger up here. Flip the world the bird. Okay, uh, we're not going to use the middle finger. 
Uh, yeah, unless you got that pick your nose. There you go. Okay, anybody want to bite? There you be. Okay, so ring finger, fourth fret, D string, and a pinky right underneath it. So that's on the fourth fret. G string. <laughs> he said G string. <laughs> okay, so, uh, pardon me, I had a head moment. <laughs> okay. So there is B playing those three strings, your A string, your D string, and yes, your G string. What can you do with that? Uh, not much of anything. So I would suggest this. Um, this is called slop, and um, this has been used for decades and years and uh, maybe a couple centuries. And this is doing this, using a bar chord, fourth fret. Okay, before I get there, before uh, I get any further. So when we're doing the E, and the A, and the E, slow down to where I did the B, that's how you would uh, implement the B. Just play that. But then have fun when you're coming back out because you can't do crap with it like this. Nothing to do. But unless I show you this. Uh, I said, but let me show you this. There it is. Woo! Oh man, I get thrilled every time I look at that thing. Anyway, I better wash these jeans. It's going on five days. I'm sure they're getting saggy. Okay, let's do a big bar chord across the D string, across the G string, and across the B string. Why across the B string? Who the hell knows? But. Hey, it's there. Um, fourth fret, okay? So that's where she'd be sitting. Right across those. Mmm, look at that. Need a manicure. Holy cow. Actually, I chopped that finger off when I was 13, so that fingernail don't grow anymore. Isn't that beautiful? You want to see that again, just for fun? Alright, let's let the camera focus in on that. Oh, man. Imagine living with that. That's beautiful. Turns the chicks on. Okay. Now, so we're doing... This is a B chord. If you play those three strings, D, G, and B. Okay. Okay, that is the um, extremely difficult way to get around the B, but it works. Okay, so first of all, so you have that B. Now we have our hammer-ons again. We're going to do on the A string, 5th fret to 6th fret. Same two fingers. So you did B down, okay, hammer on, fifth to six, then to your D string, you're going to be hitting the D string and the G string all the time now. If you, whatever you want to use, if you want to use your ring finger or your pinky, we're going to use your ring finger, or your pinky. You can do both. Okay, but they're going up to up to the fourth. Uh, sorry, uh, sixth fret and seventh fret. Then your same hammer on. Okay, but what did I do before? How can we get some bottom? Baby got back. How do we get that in? Yeah, baby got back. Okay, pardon me, another little, little Sybil person got out of my brain. Okay, we're going down here to the B note on your A string, which is 2nd fret. Then we do our hammer on, so... So you do it that quick. Grab the two notes. Down, up. Then do your hammer ons Now everything else I taught you. Back here. So you just reach down there to get two notes. That's how you fool with the B chord. Okay, and there's one last way. I gave it away, I know I did. There's a B note right here. You can grab with your pinky S yes, at the seventh fret on your low E string. Right there with your pinky, seventh fret. I have two dots. Why? I don't know. It's some flipping Martin. They don't do anything right. Um, anyway, but it's a. If you want to grab it there, otherwise it looks cooler. So either way you want to do it, those are your choices. Okay, and you can do the seventh fret. 
if you're lazy. Okay, but the other is, you know, looking cool is half the battle. Okay, so there you are. That's everything in E, A, and B. And again, put your own stank on there and your own um, spin on your own kind of music, whether you want it to be bluegrass, country, um, blues, rock and roll, whatever you want it to be, put that flavor to it. Play half of it. See, I'm only playing part of it. See, so I did the whole chord. Then I did this. Now A. Hey, watch that. Second fret, third fret, fourth fret, bar. Or you can do it. Hey, A. A sharp. And B. That's also B flat if you go down. Okay. So there you go. E, A, and B. Put your own flavors on that. Again, these are just walking lines uh, doing all this junk. Okay, so um, if you're doing A, D, and E, guess what? We've already got it covered, right? A. D. Back to A. And E. We've already covered them all. So what is left? There is the lovely, only thing we have not done is um, something that would involve an F chord. Okay, F, yeah, F U2. Okay, so, no, U2 is fine, Bono, The Edge, you know, all you guys, U2 is cool. Um, in the name of love, I know, give it up. I saw him on Letterman last night on a repeat, so I've got the Edge fever, man. And Bono with my cool glass. Where's my glasses? Here's my glass. It's the only glass I need. Right there, full... Plum full. No, that's not my <laughs> urine sample for tomorrow's test. There's no bathroom in here, folks. You got to recycle. No, diet. That's right. Arizona brand diet green tea with ginseng and no caffeine. Can you imagine me on caffeine? That would not be a pretty sight. Okay, so we got to cover the F. How can we cover the F? No, hey, there ain't much of a way to do it, is there? <laughs> I never use this one, as you can tell. There it is. By God, I knew I'd find that brain cell that controlled it. Okay, so it's in the middle of C, F, and G. Okay? Yeah, we need an F and G. Yeah, no regular G. That's a regular G, G. Here's an F and G. No. <laughs> so C, you already know. We've done this before. Now F ended up being, after I revived my brain cell with the uh, defibrillators. So. Okay, it's very weak sounding. Why? Um, because it is. It's on these little tiny skinny strings. Um, but if you're up there, it is an F chord. That's right, bar chord it here. And build around it. You get your F. So you're hitting the D string. Up. G string, bend, yeah, that's right, G string, B string, now we just put our ring finger down, pinky, okay, ring finger went down on the third fret, now we're going to pinky on the fourth, okay, okay, That'll be the better sounding one. Actually doing. Okay. This one's kind of weird. Is G string. First fret. Because you might as well get your finger ready again here. But cover three strings for the hammer on. So G string. You have a first fret. Hammer on to the second fret. Okay. So then you hit your two other strings that are left underneath you. Your B and your E string. Right back to your F. Remember that for later, because that can be actually very cool. That. You sit there and heck, just lift up your middle finger if you're borrowing an F chord. But cover up that one extra fret on your G string. 
is by lifting up your middle finger. <laughs> there you go. Um, that can make some cool stuff. Move up the G. Up the A. B. C. D. Up to E. All the way back to F. Why can I get there? Because I have a guitar that's got some smooth curves. If you don't have one and yours goes like this, hey, go get a little hacksaw. Make yourself a nice little curve. Okay, dead man's curve. So C, F, and G. That's right, the F and G in there. So C. And F. Back to C. G, we knew from the beginning. Okay, so I was country honest at the time. Okay, anyway, so that is the basics of um, walking bass lines within open chords. Okay, we've covered everything that we can cover. We're not doing it in flat keys. If we was, we'd be grabbing ugh, our good friend the capo and making it nice and easy on ourselves. Uh, yeah, I'll show it to you in all the other flat keys some other day. But today I just wanted to sauce your freebie. I promised I would. So um, there you go, kitties. And again, like I said, uh, remember the stanky leg. Thank you, leg. Yeah, I know I'm too old to be reciting this stuff, but hey, I'm still doing my DJ business, so I gotta keep up with all the cool tunes from the kids, and I gotta keep up with this guy still. Um, all these years later, still can't figure out all this stuff. The heck was wrong with you, man? Quit giving me all that junk to learn. Anyway, um, so I gotta go take some more pills, have some more fun, but I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, little freebie session. And no, I'm actually not a pill head, but. Hey, it's fun to pretend, isn't it? Um, anyway, like I said, put your own spin on all this stuff. Spin. Wee hee! Michael, uh, shimmo! Okay, now just remember this. Play parts of things, even if it's only. See, so just take parts of it and analyze it because you're so much more here than I'm giving you but I want your little brain to work and not give you tabs by the way tabs are the devil never buy anything that has tabs never take any guitar lessons from anybody who teaches you using tabs it fries your brain more than what mine is you need to use your brain in order to learn not have it written out for you so explore the guitar on your own um, so that's why I'm leaving some of this out not because I don't know it because God knows I do and um, just dig in and find out what you're looking for. I gave you everything. Now just go in there and be creative. That's half the fun. Uh, having it all shown to you, where's the fun there? It just gives you again the tools. Go build my fourth damn house. I'm trading in my fourth house and $250 and I want my damn hotel on boardwalk. Okay, so somebody go give me that thing. It's gonna cost you $2,000 if you can not pass go and you land on my property. But who, who the heck's in my head now? Anyway. So there's all the stuff. I'll shut the heck up. Uh, once again, Scott Grove, I'll show you my pretty face. See, I've been uh, hermiting and growing old right here in front of your eyes. So um, you guys have a lovely day, and I'll do this again sometime. Yeah, hey, let's do it every day. It's a little bit of fun for me, too. So um, happy picking, happy doing your uh, little walks and everything, and I'll go take a walk right now and get rid of some of this energy uh, before my wife comes home and... Uh, Make it nice and easy, mellow evening with us both, okay? So you guys be groovy. Catch you later. Bye.